Drawing nets and using nets to find surface area. So what exactly is a net? No, not a fishing net, but a mathematical net. Well, a net is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object. So here we have a three-dimensional object. Think of it as unfolding the object into a two-dimensional object. So this would actually be a net of that rectangular prism. Here's a net of a cube, a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object. And there's actually 11 different ways we could represent that cube. These are 11 different nets that would all, if we folded these all back together, would actually make up a cube. Now, if you want, you can pause this video and write down your guesses here. We're going to look at these six different nets. And we want to know, would these be nets of a cube? Would they fold back up into a cube? So if you want, you can pause the video and write down your six guesses. Let's start with number one. Would that fold back up into a cube? And the answer is yes. That it would be a net of a cube. How about number two? Would that fold back up into a cube? And the answer is yes. If you look at number three, that actually is not a net of a cube. It would not fold back up into a cube. Four is pretty obvious. That would not be a net of a cube. And five and six actually both would be nets of a cube. So here we have a net of a rectangular prism. And this is one net that you could make. I'm actually going to make another one right now. When I'm drawing nets of uh, three-dimensional objects, I like to start with the base. So I'm going to start with a triangular base. And then I'm going to do the lateral faces. And the lateral faces, of course, on a, a prism are rectangles. And we have three lateral faces. And then I'm going to draw my top, which is also a triangle. And I could do it on any one of these lateral faces. I think I'll do it over here. So that would actually be a net, another net of a triangular prism. So here we have a net of a pyramid. And again, start with the base and then draw the lateral faces. And the lateral faces on a pyramid, of course, are triangles. OK, now let's see if these would be nets of this triangular prism. Look at our first example. Would that fold back up into a triangular prism? And the answer is, no, it would not. How about the second example? Would that fold back up into a triangular prism? And the answer is yes. So that would be a net of that triangular prism. And this last one's pretty obvious. That would not fold back up into uh, a triangular prism. OK, let's do another net. Let's do a net of this rectangular prism. And again, I always like to start with the base. And the base of our rectangular prism is 6 by 3. This is actually going to be to scale. So I'm going to start with my base, which is 6 by 3. And then I think I'll do the sides. And the sides are 3 by 4. And we have two sides. So I'll do my two sides next. And again, just pretend that you're unfolding that shape. You're unfolding the box. Let's do our lateral face here. This would be 6 by 4. 6 by 4, and we'll need two of those. And then last but not least, we need our top. And the top is 6 by 3. Now I could take this and I could put it here. That would be fine. I could put it here. That would be fine as well. And I think I'll just leave it up there. So there's one possible net um, for our rectangular prism. So here I'm going to sketch some nets of these different pyramids. I'm going to start with the square pyramid. Again, I always like to start with the base. So I'm going to start with our square base. And then just imagine that unfolding. So I'm going to do the lateral faces. And the lateral faces on all pyramids are triangles. Let me do a triangular pyramid. Start with the base. And the base is a triangle here. And then I'm going to do my lateral faces. And I have three lateral faces to draw. And these are just quick sketches. 
Okay, this one's going to be a little tricky here. I'll do the best I can. Uh, pentagonal pyramid. So I'm going to start with my pentagon base. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then I would have five lateral faces. And they would all be triangles. These pyramids have lateral faces that are triangles. So those would be nets of those three different shapes. Well, how can I use a net to help me calculate surface area? Well, here's that same uh, rectangular prism we looked at just a minute ago. And you could calculate, once you've drawn the net, you could use the net to help you figure out the area of each face. And then all you'd have to do is add those various areas together to get the total surface area. Let's try one of these. Let's, uh, now this, I'm not going to draw this to scale, but I'm going to start by doing the base, which would be a rectangle. And it would be, the base would be six, six and a half times two. So six and a half times two, our base would be 13 square inches. Now I think I'll do the sides. And again, I'm not drawing these to scale. The sides would be 3 and 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, and this side would also be 3 times 2 is 6. Let me draw the front, and the front would be 6 and a half. now be careful here, it's 6 and a half by 3, and 6 and a half times 3 would be 19 and a half square inches. It's going to be the same over here. Six and a half times three would be 19.5. And then of course the top is going to be the same as the bottom. And I think I'll put it, I think I'll put it here. And again, this is not drawn to scale and that's fine. So the top would be six and a half by two. Six and a half times two, so that's 13. And then to calculate the total surface area, I would just have to add up these six different areas. All right, let's do one more. So here I have a square pyramid. It has a square base. And I'm going to draw a net and then find the surface area. So I'm going to start with the base. And the base is a square. And that would be 8 times 8. So our base would be 64 square inches. And now I'm going to draw. Now all four of the lateral faces, this is going to be easy because they're all the same. They're all going to have the same area. They all have the same base, 8. And I think I'm going to write this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to, I'm going to do one half of the base, so one half of the base 8 times the height. Remember, you got to use the slant height here, which is 10. So half of the base times the height. Half of 8 would be 4, and 4 times 10 would be 40. All of these lateral faces would be 40. And then to find the total surface area, that'd be 160 plus 64. That'd be 224 square inches. So that's what a net is, and that's how you can use a net to help you find surface area.